during these years that I thought I was living what, was ha what I thought was happiness. Partying, doing drugs, drinking, smoking, hanging out with friends, being, you know, having girls and girlfriends and being with women. And this is what I thought was happiness. And I was pursuing these things. But in the midst of these things, I was finding many trials and tribulations. I almost died a couple of times, drinking and driving. One time I crashed into a pole, my friend hit the windshield so hard, when he pulled back, his hairs were stuck in the windshield, subhanAllah. And as soon as he pulled back and I seen him bleeding and his hair stuck in the windshield, we took another sip of the beer and I tried to drive away before we got stopped by the police. So this is how I was trying to pursue my happiness, but I found that I was only becoming more miserable trying to seek happiness within the drugs and within friends and within drinking was only making me more miserable. But after I took the Shahada, unfortunately, I put on my kufi and I still would go out and drink with friends. And I would run into Christians and they would say, you know, Christian youth like myself at the time. And they would say, you Muslim? And I say, yeah. And they would say, why are you drinking? I say, why are you asking me questions? You're worshiping Jesus. <laughs> you know, I know, you're worshiping Jesus, I'm drinking. Stop questioning me, right? So this was my attitude for a long time. And I went on that way maybe for about three or four months, subhanAllah. Drinking, still smoking, still partying. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guided me one night. I was in the, in my, on my porch sitting with these same friends. And, and when I was sitting with them, they were smoking weed and drinking. I was sitting there, it was about two o'clock in the morning. I'm looking out at the, sun, at the stars and I'm thinking, Subhanallah, if I don't change, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to destroy me. And I began to reflect and contemplate further. And I kept coming to the same conclusion, you need to change. If you don't change, how much longer Allah is going to give you? How many more chances is Allah going to give you? You almost died in a few car accidents. You've been having this problem and that problem. Inshallah ta'ala, how much more time do you have? I told my friends, get up and get out. They said, what? I said, get up, get out. They said, you're high, you're tripping, stop bugging. I said, no, I'm not high. I said, this is the first time in my life that I have clarity of sight. I know what I want and what you have, I don't want it. Get up, get out. It was at that point that I realized because there were struggles that I faced, right? And finding this happiness and this pursuit of happiness, I was looking for it in the wrong places, drinking, hanging out with the wrong company which is the case with most people. So I knew that I immediately had to change my friends in order for me to reach the state that I wanted to reach with my Lord. And when I changed my friends, things began to change. Life began to become sweeter. I began to see some of the happiness entering 